Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here and today we are going to be talking about managing our health. And so we decided to start by highlighting um, different parts of managing your health through knowing your doctor, knowing your medical conditions, taking medication and knowing those medications, following through on your doctor's recommendations, and being able to identify pain and discomfort. So first, when we are looking at knowing who our doctor is, um, we're talking about our primary care doctor. And so we all have a doctor who oversees our general health. And so we might only see this doctor once a year when we have our annual physical, or we might see them every you know, few months if we have a medical condition that needs monitoring, or we might see them when we're sick. And so knowing the name of this doctor is important um, in case there's an emergency, or in case you need to fill a prescription, or even if you need to see a specialist for something, um, they're gonna to wanna to know who the doctor is that oversees your general health. And um, so it's good to have this information written down so that you can keep it with you. So we made a worksheet called My Medical Card, and so you can take a look at that and see if um, something like that would be useful for you so that you can keep medical information on you, whether it's like in your wallet or a purse or a backpack. So next we're looking at knowing our medical conditions. So that primary care doctor that you see, they have a list of all the medical conditions that you've been treated for in the past and ones that you currently have. And so it's important to know what your medical conditions are, um, just in case you know you need to change parts of your lifestyle um, to manage those medical conditions um, or you know in case it makes you predisposed to something else um, so knowing those medical conditions is really key and then knowing your medications this is another really important one and you'll see that we did end up putting that on the my medical card um, worksheet as well just because it's important that you have a list of the medications that you're taking um, so you know you can put the name of the medication the amount of the medication you take the time that you take it you know, anything that would be important for people to know if they were trying to help you. And so knowing the medications you take is very important, but also knowing the side effects. Um, not everybody experiences side effects to medications, but there are some to be aware of. And side effects are negative things that, um, like negative effects that happen when we take a medication. And so these are things that you can certainly talk to your doctor about. Um, and it's important that if your doctor wants to put you on a new medication, to be talking to the doctor about potential side effects, just so you know what to look for. And um, next, we're gonna look at following through on doctor's recommendations. So, you know, our doctor often has recommendations for all of us, right, on how we can stay healthy. Um, and so sometimes these recommendations are easier than others. You know, doctors might tell us that we need to like totally change our diet or they might just tell us we need to exercise more. But it's really important that we are following through on these doctor's recommendations so that we can be as healthy as possible. And so, you know, some ways that you can follow through on these recommendations is to maybe write them down and, you know, hang them up in a place that you can see them. Or you can, you know, tell your family member or your provider what the recommendations are and then ask them to help you because I know for myself too that having somebody to help me stay motivated is really important for my success. So we did make a healthy lifestyle worksheet where you guys can take a look at some examples of um, healthy lifestyle options. And so I ended up filling this worksheet out for myself. And so for me, you know, I wanna try and limit the sugary foods I eat. Um, I found that, you know, with being home through COVID that it was pretty easy to make a lot of sweets, you know, like brownies, and I just made pumpkin muffins the other day, you know. So, but I want to be eating healthy, and so by limiting those sugary foods, I will be more healthy and I will feel better. Next, not using my phone before bed is the next one that I put up there, um, up here, because um, to be quite honest, I, I look at my phone a lot right before bed, and um, it's proven that if you're using your phone right before bed, you know, any screen time, whether it's through phone or TV or computer, you're not gonna get as good restful sleep and you're gonna have a harder time falling asleep. Um, so that's another thing that I wanna work on. And then the other thing that I put down was exercising every day. And so, um, 
you know, that's the third thing that I really want to commit to working on. Um, it can be easy, you know, to just go to work. I sit at work all day, go home and, you know, just kind of get wrapped up in the chores or doing things with the kids. But it's really important for me to be exercising every day. Um, so even if it's just taking a walk, you know, down the street, that's what I want to do. So the next thing that we wanted to look at today was identifying pain and discomfort. And so this is a really important skill for us to have um, so that we can get help if something is bothering us. And um, this is especially important, you know, if you need to go to the doctor for something because you need to be able to tell the doctor, you know, what is going on. So if you are feeling pain or discomfort, um, we would suggest asking yourself the following questions. You know, first you can ask what part of your body do you feel pain in? You know, is it something like your head, your knee, your back, your stomach? Do you have pain in multiple areas? Next, what does the pain feel like? Um, some examples could be like an achy kind of pain. Maybe like you pull the muscle or maybe it's a sharp pain um, like some of us might get with headaches or maybe it's a burning pain that you have in your stomach. So it's important to be able to try to identify what the pain feels like. Um, next, you would look at what, when does it happen? So does the pain happen when you go to sit down? Does it happen when you're standing? Does it happen when you're walking? Or does it happen all the time? You know, these are things that the doctor is going to want to know. Um, next, how would you rate the pain? So we provided you guys with this pain measurement scale, which goes through looking at your pain from zero to 10. And um, to be honest, I use this pain scale even when I had my kids. <laughs> I thought that this was really helpful as a way to kind of help me figure out um, the amount of pain that I was in and what I was feeling because the nurses would come in and they'd say, oh, you know, what's your pain level from zero to 10? But being able to see, you know, these examples of the faces, right, can be helpful so that we can tell how much pain we're in. So it goes from no pain, mild pain, moderate pain, severe pain, very severe pain, to worst pain imaginable. And so you can see even from these faces that the little expression changes, you know? So when you're looking at the no pain, the, this person's smiling, right? But then it goes to, you know, the worst pain imaginable where, you know, with that pain, this face is looking like it's crying and cannot stay calm. So this is an important thing that you can use if somebody is asking you how much pain you are in. And then the last question you can ask yourself is who can you tell about the pain so that you can get help? And so, you know, it could be your family member, it could be your provider. Um, you might call your doctor directly to talk about your pain, um, but it's really important that you get the assistance you need when you are in pain. So these are just some components that we're gonna you know, look at today. Uh, we have some different worksheets for you guys to take a look at as well. Um, the safety tip of the month also for October is to be careful how we bend and lift. And so we added a video just talking about how to safely bend and lift, um, whether you're at work or whether you're at home. So we hope you guys find this information beneficial. We look forward to seeing you guys on the Zoom calls and we hope you all have a great healthy day.